Welcome to Cyprus. Travel. Yeehaw! Food is about tasting and touching and feeling. History. Centaurs were drinkers and troublemakers. Go on a culinary and cultural journey around the beautiful Greek islands with Tonya Buxton. My Greek Kitchen, a brand new series, starts Friday at 10 on Discovery Travel and Living. On the feast day of St. Lazarus, a young boy is dressed in garlands of flowers and laid down on a mattress. And during the sermon, when the priest says, Lazarus, rise, he rises and is showered with petals of roses. Actually, feast days are more important than birthdays to the Cypriots. And that's the day that we receive presents. We also receive visitors. When they arrive, we offer them a gligo or a cake. And my next recipe is going to be a gligo du garpujou, which is a watermelon sweet. Modern life can be quite stressful. There never seems to be enough hours in the day to get everything done. And then it can be hard to unwind once we finally do. Preparing something fresh and good to eat can be one of the most relaxing things you can do. And by putting the right foods together, eating can give you that calming feeling at the end of a long, hard day. Hi, I'm Tony Buxton and I'm here to show you how to have a baby and look better than ever. I'm going to take you through each stage of your pregnancy, showing you the best exercises to keep you fit, healthy and tight. Please welcome one of the stars of UK Foods Beauty in the Feast, the lovely Tonya Buxton. Monkfish is a fantastic fish. It's got a delicious taste to it. It's high in protein, low in fat, and it keeps its shape beautifully when you're cooking. All you need to do is brush that with a little bit of olive oil. And I've got a little tip for you here. If you're using frozen fish, the best thing to do is to defrost it in a little bit of milk. If you do so, it gets rid of that frozen taste and it gives it a lovely fresh caught flavor. The prestigious Elite Model Look competition took place in Moscow this week. Every year the contest attracts thousands of Russian girls dreaming of glamorous modelling careers. It's always a problem finding presents when you're abroad. So here are my suggestions of gifts that characterise the essence of Greece. Wari beads are very typical of Greece. You can buy traditional ones or the more funky ones. And depending who you're buying them for, if it's a pessimist, they'll be counting out their worries. And if it's an optimist, they'll be counting their blessings. The Greeks are very superstitious, and one of their superstitions is the evil eye. You'll often see people spitting at beautiful people or pretty babies, going tup tup tup. They're not actually spitting at them, they're warding off the jealous evil eye. And carrying one of these symbols or wearing them also protects you from that jealous evil eye. Changing things, design-wise. I hope you've noticed. Oh, well, I have. I have noticed that they've got slightly sexier. Slightly sexier? Well, slightly sexier. yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> okay. We're still Volvo, but, Lasses you know, we added, the, we added the looks as well as all the practicalities and the safety and everything. It's just, uh, you know, why not look good as well? Safe sex. <laughs> Big Grey Boys. 100% beef cakes with appetites to match. Will they still be laughing when we say bye-bye to their bacon butties? Or will they lose their nerve when the chips are down? Will they go to pieces when there's no more pizza? It's time to rise to the challenge and put a deadline to the waistline. From rugby players to burly bouncers, Tonya and Simone are making over the mail and their meals. Beauty and the feast. Today at 10.30, new to UK food. The Greeks believe that the island of Delos is magical, surrounded by a positive energy. But it's a Greek-style energy that has temper and passion and humour. And the only way to really feel that energy is to take your shoes off and let it course through you. You've got ginger in this dish. Uh -huh. It's great to just eat it like that. But the other thing you can do with it is you can take it with some of the lemon juice that we've put in our right. marinade, make yourself a nice warm drink from that. And there's also a honey that you can put in called manuka honey, manuka. which is an incredibly antibiotic honey, which as you're drinking, it's going to really soothe your throat. Mm. So if you're about to go and do a song and your throat's feeling really sore, suck on that. Suck on that. Uh -huh. <laughs>